What's good everyone, Aggie Coach here. Alright guys, so welcome to another video. This is Fat 8 Advanced Gameplay. So, this video, I'm not going to be using the solitaire rules uh, in this video. This is just about the, the, the gaming system itself, the Fat 8 rule standard itself. In this video, we're going to be talking about advanced gameplay concepts. Primarily focusing on the the way that the offense and the defense um, can read and react to each other. So these are some of the things that you can do uh, at the advanced levels within the within the given time structure that you have. Because we use the NCAA rules for time for the time clock, as well as um, the play clock it can put a lot of pressure on the offense and the defense especially the offense to make sure that you get set up and don't get that delay of game penalty so here as you can see I got the Buckeyes offense out single back twins to the top of the screen and the Navy midshipmen come out in the 43 they're cover two. They have two over top, and they have two cornerbacks. Now, in this particular scheme, I really want to zone in on defensive scheming uh, in the Fed 8 rule system. In this case, you're going to see at the top of the screen, you're going to see the cornerback um, backpedaling. Not coming up to push at the line, but you're going to see the cornerback backpedaling. Um, and there are some really... Uh, interesting things here that you can do with your outside linebackers like for example the outside linebacker at the top of the screen in this particular instance I want to show the offense that I'm blitzing so so what I can do is start cheating him up and show the offense that the blitz is coming this is gonna force the offense to make some decisions here so because the Fat 8 rule system allows you to move a lot of players around, uh, you are the defense in actual football. The defense is free to move around as much as they want. So here I'm going to disguise my coverage by showing a blitz at the top of the screen. Right. And the offensive player has no idea what's actually happening. The offense also has the right to do motion if they want to. So like, for example, uh, our slot here could motion over to the other side of the field if I wanted to. In this case, I'm going to leave it like it is because I want to just show um, the complexity in the defense. So right now, I am showing the offensive player that I am blitzing from the right. Right? So I take the snap. Uh-oh, look what happened. That outside linebacker at the top of the screen dropped back into coverage. Notice that the cornerback at the top of the screen is also backpedaling. Look over here. This cornerback here, I had him eight by one. I had him eight yards deep, one yard in. Look at what he did. He took away the inside route by coming up, right? The blitz that I was showing at the top of the screen is actually coming from the bottom of the screen. Right. So that was that was at the snap. Now, remember, we have field vision into action. So we have essentially two stops. Um, so this could be a potential handoff right here. But look at what happened. The defensive tackle shot the gap. So now if I make a handoff, there's a very good chance that this thing might get shut down. Uh, so I just wanted to show at the initial snap here. What happens? So now, I'm um, just kind of keeping this raw. I'm going to just keep running the footage. So now, let's say it's not a pass. Let's say it actually is a handoff. That ball is going to the right side of the field because the bottom of the screen is covered. Like, he has nowhere to go. Um, so let's do this handoff. So the quarterback has handed the ball off. To the running back, the running back has the ball right now. So now I am free to pivot. 
all parties who are not engaged. Since it's a run, those receivers at the top of the screen, of course, are going to be blocking. Now, so basically what I do, where's my referee? I take my referee and I'm going to just kind of put him in place right here so I can flip this guy's base around. And then I put him back exactly where he was so he can come up. And then I do the same thing here. Put him in place so I can flip his base back around. I hope you guys can hear me okay. And then I put him back where he was. Okay. So now I can direct these guys to block down. They're going to be coming to make their blocks. Um, I can direct all parties who are not engaged. Okay. And for the offense, let's see, I can direct him. This is going to be risky now because if I pivot him, it's almost blocking in the back right here. So I almost have to let this go. Um, he really can't afford to make this block because it could because he's almost on the rear corner. And in the Fat 8 rule system, you cannot block in the back. Um, right now, it is side of base. So right now, it's legal. But if when the play at the end of the next stop, if he ends up behind him, end up blocking him in his back, that's going to be a penalty. Okay. So now I am ready to move to the next stage. So let's see how he does. Uh, on run plays after the handoff, you just run the board. So let's see what happens here. <laughs> Taken down. Now, you know, it was interesting because... That outside linebacker made that tackle. Remember, that outside linebacker was showing blitz, right? That outside linebacker dropped back off the line into zone coverage, and look what he did. He came up and made the tackle at the line of scrimmage. That was an excellent play by the defense to turn that thing around and stop the Buckeyes from getting anything out of that game. So I just wanted to kind of share that with you guys this is how you can play like an advanced gameplay, how you can mix up your coverage. You can mix up your scheme. You can do some zone man. You can do man across the board. You can do man cover two. You can do man cover three. You can do zone man cover two, zone man cover three. You can combine things. You can show blitz off the corners. You can show blitz in the gaps. You can shoot the gaps. You can have your defensive lineman pinch. Like there are lots of things defensively that you can do um, to really, really make your team your defensive team um, play well. The same thing is true for the offense. You can do everything from running reverse plays to running option plays, not quarterback option. I mean, we, we do have quarterback option, but um, in multi-stop system like this, uh, quarterback option doesn't work that well uh, because the defense is, is real, especially on the big board, because the defense fan is fanned out so much, they cover a lot of ground. So um, those kinds of plays, unless you really, really get your blocking scheme right, uh, those kinds of plays don't really work that well. Uh, at least they hadn't worked well for me. Maybe somebody else can make, can make them work. Um, I may try it out later on, but I just wanted to kind of share with you guys uh, how that plays out. That was an excellent play by the outside linebacker there. Um, so I just wanted to share this advanced gameplay um, for the defense running the 43 and disguising coverage at the top of the screen showing blitz and then backing off into zone um, these are some of the things that you can do in the fat eight rule system i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget comment like and subscribe peace